July 2023 will be an exciting month for astronomy lovers, with several notable celestial events taking place throughout the month, so it is safe to say that you can see a lot of really cool events. You can witness incredible planet constellations or planet moon configurations, and even a fascinating meteor shower. You don't want to miss other videos about our endless universe? Then like this video, follow this account, and turn on the post notifications if you don't want to miss other videos. However, let's start with the first event of the month. On July 1st, you can see the Venus and Mars conjunction. These two planets appear close to each other in the night sky. Both planets will be visible with the naked eye in the constellation Leo. Observers will have the opportunity to witness these neighboring planets as they seemingly converge, offering a unique spectacle for stargazers. On July 3rd is full moon. For this month, it is also known as the full buck supermoon. And how can I witness this event? July's full buck supermoon will rise on Monday, July 3rd, reaching peak illumination at 7.39 a.m. Eastern Time. It will be below the horizon at that time, so plan to look towards the southeast after sunset to watch it rise into the sky. And why is it called the buck moon? The full moon in July is called the buck moon because the antlers of male deers are in full growth mode at this time. Bucks shed and regrow their antlers each year, producing a larger and more impressive set as the years go by. On July 6th is Earth's aphelion. An aphelion refers to the point in the orbit of a planet, comet, or other celestial object where it is farthest from the sun. It is the opposite of perihelion, which is the point in the orbit where the object is closest to the sun. Earth will be approximately 152.1 million kilometers away from the sun. On July 7th is the conjunction of the Moon and Saturn. During this event, the Moon and Saturn will appear close to each other in the night sky. But how can I see this event? Find out the local time when the Moon and Saturn will be closest to each other in your area. Then choose a spot with a clear view of the sky, away from bright city lights and obstructions. And last but not least, look towards the eastern horizon after sunset. On July 11th is the conjunction of the Moon and Jupiter. During this event, the Moon and Jupiter will appear close to each other in the night sky. And how can I see this event? Find out the local time when the Moon and Jupiter will be closest to each other in your area. Then choose a spot with a clear view of the sky, away from bright city lights and obstructions. And last but not least, look towards the southeastern horizon after sunset. On July 17th is New Moon. That means the Moon will locate it on the same side of the Earth as the Sun and will not be visible in the night sky. This is also the best time of the month to observe faint objects such as galaxies and star clusters because there is no moonlight to interfere. Over the next three consecutive days, there will be three different planet-moon conjunctions, providing a splendid showcase of the interplay between celestial bodies in our solar system. The steps to observe planet-moon conjunctions are always the same, and this will be the last time I mention them here. Just remember to look in different directions in the sky. Find out the local time when the moon and the planet will be closest to each other in your area. Then choose a spot with a clear view of the sky, away from bright city lights and obstructions. And after that, look towards the following sky direction. On July 19th is the conjunction of the Moon and Mercury. During this event, they will appear close to each other in the night sky. Look towards the western horizon after sunset. On July 20th is the conjunction of the Moon and Venus. During this event, the Moon and Venus will appear close to each other in the night sky. Look towards the western horizon where the sun has recently set. On July 21st is the conjunction of the Moon and Mars. During this event, they will appear close to each other in the night sky. Look towards the eastern horizon in the early morning hours. On July 28th and 29, the southern Delta Aquarids will have its peak. The number of meteors visible during the Delta Aquarids meteor shower can vary. On average, the meteor shower produces about 10 to 20 meteors per hour. And how can I see this meteor shower? 
Choose a viewing spot away from bright city lights and other sources of light pollution. The darker the sky, the better your chances of seeing more meteors. Be patient and give your eyes time to adjust. Allow your eyes to adapt to the darkness for about 20 minutes. Avoid looking at your phone or any other bright light sources during this time. This will help you see the fainter meteors. And last but not least, look towards the radiant point. The Delta Aquarid's meteor shower appears to originate from the constellation Aquarius. Which of these events are you most excited about? Write it in the comments. By the way, don't forget to like this video and give me a little feedback in the comments. And as always, I hope that I... See you again.